Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the second video of the Trick Shot Patch. In this case, it's actually called Nightfall, because this is the Event Pass, and the Event Pass is called Nightfall. Alright, this one is going to be a little bit different than the one we currently have on the live servers right now. Um, you're basically going to pay a little bit less, if I'm not mistaken. It only has 24 levels, so I'm assuming we're going to back, go back to all the 400 or 450 crystals it was be before. I'm not actually sure. Um, but I know we're going to be able to get all the crystals back through the trials and even the, the event pass itself. All right, so you buy the event pass and you're going to be greeted straight away with this Corvus skin, which is actually pretty damn dope. And I actually got some gameplay here for you guys here, right here, where they're going to show a little bit of the in-game gameplay. I can even put the sound like here. Foci, like uh, like the, the dagger that Corvus holds, seeing what the team can do with iteration or each change. Or I don't know if you noticed that when you throw the dagger, it does a little bat. All right, and with that, that's just fantastic. Each, I love know, it. The effects and all of it is 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 part of part of uh, was, part of what I love. Is that a bat? Like a, like a bat like out of stone keep. <laughs> there we go. So when she when it does the heels as well, they're also gonna do the ultimate here. here. Yep. Uh, the little the star ultimate. pentagram. I'm not sure what to start a David or something. It's something like that. I don't know what it is. A devil star. Oh I don't know. Oh my goodness. So dapper too. It's pretty bad. He does it elegantly, right? Yeah. I think they're also gonna we put the to like voices here, but unfortunately it was too back. low, so we're not gonna be able to listen too well. Ah oh, oh, yes, but you are cute, aren't you? Bloody spectacular. Alright, so this reminds me of either Mernos or the gentleman Genos. I don't know, maybe it's the same voice actor, maybe that's the thing. Either way, we're gonna have wait and see for PDS so I can see more voice lines and properly actually this time. So after that, at uh, rank, I believe, 12, level 12 on the event pass, you're going to have the Sky Skin, which is actually pretty damn dope. It looks like Dammit. It's Dammit it Mave, I'm not going to lie, and it looks really beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if I have to put play for the... Okay. Expect no, they were just looking at this picture for a very long time. Because apparently the, there was a bug, so they didn't show us gameplay. But they did show us on the menu. This is the recolor for Corvus. We'll get back to that in a bit. But it's going to be level 28. 28. 18. What am I saying? Math with creepers. Holy crap. Uh, level 18. This is going to be the free skin for everybody. So everybody's going to be able to have this skin even if you don't buy the event pass. And this is going to be the recolor for Sky, which looks pretty damn dope as well. But they only showed us the... Um, the sky scan here so in here we're gonna be yep, able to um, see it and they're not gonna show us the sound so i'm just gonna basically let you guys see some of the emotes he's gonna play here really quick and you can see the silhouette of the sky here skin the sky sky skin yep everything is in place um and we got a little skulls on these some of the smoke effects and so on i'm assuming that when you throw the smoke it also going to do that uh since they didn't get us to show any sort of uh you know vfx or in game but here it is the other skin as well you can see it right here which looks oh gee, jesus christ it looks amazing i love the effect they did all the whole tattoos and everything is just fantastic awesome i loved it again uh there's some other sprays and we got a staff spray here for corvus the 3d spray a little monster there maybe it's a little teaser to the next champion who knows and then we also have this 3d spray these avatars the sky and the corvus uh, we got an MVP pose for our boy B Bum King, and then we got this death card here, which, yes, you guessed it, this is another skin, but it goes into a chest, which is Ray. We'll get into that in just a bit. In the trials, you're gonna have other sprays. You got this static spray there in the middle of the trials, this animated spray, these 3D sprays of little TV and the little devilish egg being summoned an avatar vora which i'm really happy for an mvp pose for grok here that it's just basically when you end the match you can have this and this emote which i don't know i mean sure whatever <laughs> i don't i don't know we're also gonna have some limited time notes actually which is pretty cool because some of them are actually related to the event pass one of them will be the realm page and basically everybody's basically gonna be realms it's just gonna be realms and realms all over 
and they have decreased cooldowns. So basically, you're just going to be able to see rums dashing everywhere, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. We're also going to have the Cosmic Death. Janos moves at the speed of light, or as fast as time and space will allow him. Basically, you're going to be really fast, increase ultimate charge, and everybody's going to be playing Janos. All right. Then you also have claws out, claws out Koga, where everybody's going to be playing Koga, but with claws, and you don't use any energy... Uh, you know, so basically you're always going to be having the claws pretty much all the time and you're going to be able to dash and claw people and agility cooldown and some extra damage apparently. Um, or decreased damage, I think. I don't know if that's what they're saying. Either way, on September 15th, which is after my wife's birthday, um, this will be the skin in a chest. So I will not have a recolor, unfortunately, um, but this will be in a chest which is actually down here. It'll be here. 400 crystals. It'll be the chest, this one right there. They ended up showing the skin, so I wanna go to that real quick. Uh, here it is. We're gonna put play here. I'm not gonna put any sound because I don't think they played the voice lines either way, but the V effects on the skin are just so cool. When you link to people, it has a tiny little pumpkin on there on the side, as you can see. They did a little effect to the to linking and this a ghost around the target that you put um when she shoots as well it's different the healing effects will have these little skulls as well envelop like you'll have this bat sort of effect around people and yourself the shooting is little skulls you're shooting uh the ultimate is this one here i'm gonna pull back just so you can as can see here and it's full effect she's going to link here and then use the ultimate and there you go looks pretty damn dope and I still don't know what they did for this. I guess they changed it a little bit because she doesn't have glasses on the skin, I think. Um, and I think they're going to use the voice lines here right now. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I assure you, I'm exactly that kind of witch. Terrific. Happy Halloween. You're the cat's meow. Okay, so yes, if you heard this before, yeah, Saris, uh, Rabbit Skin, it sounds exactly the same. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we haven't heard the sky, the sky one, unfortunately, but there you go. Then we're gonna have this skin, which I'm a little bit confused here. Which one is which? All right, yes, okay. This one in the bounty store the dredge skin that you're seeing here right now it's going to be on the bounty store it's going to replace the ev skin that we see that you can buy if you buy the event pass it will cost bounty coins obviously but you're going to have like three thousand bounty coins on the event pass uh you're going to get it from daily quests you're going to get him from drops on watching streams you're going to get him from the earn free rewards every day on watching ads so we're gonna have a plenty of different ways to get uh, bounty coins and i'm assuming we're gonna continue with the same amount of bounty coins we have right now they're not actually gonna reset it so i don't know what's the price to this skin but we're gonna be able to get it with bounty coins and i had a confirmation this is not going into a chest so we're only gonna be able to buy it from bounty coins unfortunately um this one is the skin which unfortunately they didn't end up showing it but this is going to be the skin the fourth skin of this event pass which will be in another chest for 400 crystals as well and this one here is basically recolor to the dwarf skin we had from the competitive scene before the competitive actually rewards rank rewards basically sorry um it's a little bit different it's more like he's undead this time and this hand is more like a crystal which looks fantastic unfortunately there's no gameplay for that one this one here they ended up it's, showing it here you know. on the menu apparently it's going to have the same voice pack as the default dredge it's going to be almost like just like a little epic skin basically nothing too crazy the weapon itself however is from the hat the, the the christmas uh skin if you guys remember which is a little bit of an effect he's more of like a pirate undead skeleton this time with the skin which is pretty cool i mean it's cool i mean it's all right you know trench getting a skin some people uh are gonna be happy i think but uh, there, yeah, there you go. There's not really much more there to show. We're gonna have a mount. This is gonna be part of a pack. That if you go here into the um, 
the uh, patch notes, you'll be able to see that it's going to be available as a DLC purchase. So expect 10 bucks or 15 bucks to buy this. And we're also going to have some gold skins for Inara and Ceres. They did not end up showing them in game, unfortunately. But at least we already know we're going to have some more gold skins. We're almost ready to have all champions with gold skins, which is fantastic. Both these skins already earned them. I already have them at 50, these champions. So I'm going to get these skins for free, which is very cool. So some of you are going to get it. Here's also another thing. This was actually um, uh, mentioned to me by my friend Cam, who happens to be a developer back at the game. Uh, UI UX lead designer, apparently. And she has made sure these avatars made it into the game, which is the gender queer avatar, gender fluid, demisexual, agender, polysexual, and straight ally. As... For the other ones here on top, polysexual, agender, demisexual, gender fluid, and gender queer, I'm not going to be explaining that because I'm scared of I'm actually going to say something that is stupid. But as for the straight ally, it's basically for people who are straight but that do support LGBT. This case, this is actually me. So... There you go. You're going to have an avatar for a lot of people who are in the game who are happened to already complain that they didn't have an avatar for straight people, etc. You're going to have this one. I'm actually not sure. Isn't there already one for straight? I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Either way, we're going to have a straight allies, which is apparently also a new gender, which is pretty cool. So there you go. Um, I was going to mention something else, which is the map. We'll, talk, we'll go to the map in just a bit. All right. Let's talk about the, the context of uh the context contest of the avatars these are the 10 avatars that one deal will be in a chest that we will basically have a few days where we're going to play and then we'll get some chests every win or play or something like that you're going to be able to open that chest and get these avatars from them they're pretty look they're looking pretty cool i'm not gonna lie my favorite so far it's the mave one and possibly this Eevee and Dayo. I think these three are my three favorite ones. All the other ones are look pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but for me, the three favorite ones are Maeve, Io, and Eevee there. Fantastic. Great job for the winners. These are the winners right here. I'm going to leave them on the screen here for a second. Um, congratulations for that. And uh, let's continue, shall we? All right. So the chest that I was talking about, the one where you're going to get the Torvald skin, is also going to be 400 crystals that will be available at 29. Bleh of September. So we're only going to get the Torvald skin a little bit later. Oh well. There's also going to be another skin, another chest, sorry. Uh, but this one already has skins that already exist in the game, so it'll be easy to understand. It will be on October 13th though, so you know, we're going to have to wait if you want to have access to this code, to this chest. I keep messing my words. Jesus Christ. All right. Stone Keep map update. Basically, they did the map, they reworked it entirely, but there's going to be daytime and nighttime and it could basically be random when you get it there's going to be two different versions it's almost as like having two different maps but they have the same aesthetics just different textures and lights um the the map itself had a couple changes as well which i was actually worrying as to how you can come back to spawn because if you haven't noticed it basically it doesn't have the stairs on the same place anymore. I think they ended up changing the spawns. You're going to have an entrance stair player on the side. And the stair will be on the outside part, which I'm going to show you guys here in a bit. Show us the... There it is. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was around here. So, I'm going to play this video real quick so you guys can see. I'm going to take away the audio, however, because they have music. So, as you can see, day and night time. I'm actually concerned. Is there going to be two different clocks? That's weird. Okay, so here, something I noticed, it was this door. Apparently, it's actually closed. My bad. It's actually not an entrance. There's no stairs here anymore, but the stairs are going to be on this side, outside. This, These two little windows, you'll basically have a platform where the, store, the stairs will go to. Okay, so don't be concerned. There's a way to come back to the spawn. Actually, here it is. It was right there. I'm just going to replay this real quick and boom these are the stairs this is the outside part where there's a little function fountain this this entire area here is open then you would come here it would have a little turn you go under a little uh a little uh, sort of like a bridge where people can go above and then have access to this area here but this stairs 
these stairs are now actually going to be there instead of this just being an open plane and you can just walk back into spawn through there okay which is fantastic um I'm glad that they kept stairs. I was not going to be too happy if there was no stairs. I just don't know until what point this is going to be very beneficial since the stairs are going to be here and not there next to the other stairs. This would mean that people were going to have to move a little bit more into this side to be able to go back to spawn. But we'll see. Either either way, it still looks fantastic. The uh, the visuals on this are phenomenal. The, uh, the rework on everything. We got here a telescope, apparently. And we're going to be having a different view. That's right. You're going to be able to see the city instead of something. I'm, I'm guessing this is inside of the spawns now. Um, so they changed the little weird spawns that we, we had there with just a, like an elevator or whatever the hell that was. So, yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing much more. We got a map rework. We got a new champion coming up with some skins for her, which is just recolors in the gold skin. We got four different skins coming with the event pass and two recolors. Uh, the tour of the court kind of is a recolor and the epic skin for, for dredge. It's not a limited or legendary skin, but still it's pretty good for dredge mains and so on. I have some MVP poses, emotes, etc., and avatars. So, I want to you know about what you guys think about this. Did you like this uh, theme, the skins? Do you like them? Or do you think it's maybe weak? Maybe not what you were expecting? Uh, are you gonna... Are you gonna simp for Daddy Corvus now? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm coming up with a third video after this one, which is the... Uh, balance and sort of bug fixes and changes to the bounty store and so on so if you want to know about that one you already know where to find it here in the channel after this upload see you guys next time till then have a wonderful time i'm out bye bye stay safe i want to see those comments people come on